Hello, you amazing people, and welcome to the video. In this video, I am going to talk about what to do if you want your life back. You are probably sick of DPDR right now. Maybe you've just got it and you're just starting to experience it. Maybe you've had it for a little while. Either case, the symptoms are really scary. It's really turned your life upside down. And all you are saying is, goodness me, I just want my life back. If you are one of these people, then keep watching this video because I'm going to give you some tips and some ways that you can sort of approach the situation with regards to your mindset to um, help you start to get your life back. And for those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Dan and I do help people overcome their anxious thinking, look at their habits and get their life back to be free of DPDR using coaching techniques. Often when I'm speaking to people about what do they want with regards to their recovery and how they are now, the vast majority of people will say, I just want my life back. You know, I just want to get back to normal. I want to get back to how I was. This is perhaps the first hurdle that you are facing when it does come to recovery. With DPDR, essentially it's caused by three things, which is some kind of trauma, um, anxiety, or prolonged stress. So essentially, whether you've wanted it to happen or not, it's sort of a self-induced thing. Your mind has sort of brought this up. So when you say to yourself things like, I just want my old life back, what essentially you are telling yourself is, hey, brain, I don't like this. Fix yourself so I can get back to where I was. And the part of your brain which does deal with emotions, which is essentially the part of you which is running the show, it sort of says, oh, well, I don't know how to do that. There's something I'm scared about. Why are you attacking me? Why are you just hounding on me all the time and getting so frustrated with me, just saying to me all the time, I want this gone. I want this gone. I want my life back. I want my life back. If you are sort of saying these things to yourself, then it's sort of causing a bit of a problem because really what you're doing here is you're blaming yourself, you're attacking yourself, and essentially you're threatening yourself. And of course, if the mind feels threatened, then it's just going to prolong the DPDR. Instead of saying to yourself, I want my life back, something which is going to be a little bit kinder to yourself because you need to be kind to yourself right now is to sort of accept what's happening. I'm not talking about acceptance of the symptoms or anything like that. I'm more talking about acceptance that this is how your life is right now. It's not what you've chosen. It's not what you've want. But unfortunately, this is just how things are. And what that is going to do, it's going to take off the constant attack that you are giving yourself. You know, so here's your subconscious and you're doing all this attacking on it. Once you lift off that attack, then it does give that space for the healing to start to happen. What you need to realize as well, that this whole concept of I want my life back, I want the old me back, you need to sort of understand that people are constantly changing and we're constantly growing and our likes and dislikes are changing and all that type of stuff. So the very notion of wanting myself back is a little bit flawed because really that's sort of impossible. And what I mean by that is if you think back to when you were a 10 year old, all the interests and the things that you liked and the things that you did then, you probably have no interest in anymore. And then you cut forward to 20. And I'm sure that some of the things you liked when you were 20, maybe you don't like anymore. And it's the same with 25 and 30 and 35 and just up and up and up. So this whole notion of wanting to get back to normal, I do understand what you mean. Basically, what you're telling me is I just want the DPDR gone so I can start living my life again. But if you have that expectation that things are just going to go back to exactly how they were, then you might be in for a little rude shock because the chances are that things are actually going to be a lot better than what they were. Maybe what I'm really saying here is look forward to the new and improved you the essence of you will still be there. You'll still do all the things that you, you like to do before this happened. And you will really feel that this new lease of life has, has taken off for you. So perhaps you'll feel that, you know, this, this is the, like the leveled up you, you know, you're, all, you're sort of walking along in life and you're, you're here, then DPDR hits you and then you go down and you're like, oh crap, this sucks. And you sort of work your, work your way through and start working your way back up again. And then you find, you know, you're, you're getting a bit better and then you start to get recovery and then you get better and better and better. And, 
essentially it's it is going to be the leveled up you it's going to be the super duper you it's going to be the new and improved you and this is absolutely absolutely possible and you know how i know why that is is because a i've seen it happen it's also happened to me but also it's just a byproduct of some kind of recovery no matter what it is it does massively build up your self confidence and your self esteem and the reason that it does that and how it works and this is actually a psychological thing is because if you don't do anything and you just sort of somehow get better over time then all that is you you're going to sort of perhaps put that down to luck or fluke you know like i don't know why i got better but just somehow i sort of did so that's all external stuff. So essentially you're putting your recovery down to everything that's outside of you. But if you do work at it and if you do put the recovery plan in place and you do all the techniques and challenging your thoughts and changing your habits and and all the other type of stuff, all this is internal stuff. And what you're going to do is you're going to learn that well, I do have what it takes to overcome this. I do know what I need to do to handle what life throws at me. So you're learning all this and this learning actually teaches you that you are enough. You are totally enough right now. You have what it takes to overcome this. It's not down to fluke or luck. You know exactly what it is. It's you. It's you that's done this. It's you that's um, made you recover. And as I say, that confidence and self-esteem is just going to go through the roof. And that maybe is going to open up a lot more opportunities for you because perhaps before you were a little bit nervous or anxious about things. And now you're just like, well, if I can get over DPDR, then I can do anything. And this is going to, you know, perhaps open new doors for you. And, you know, it's going to improve your life in so many ways. So getting back to the concept of I just want my life back. I just want to be the old me, let go of that. You're going to be the better you. You're going to have a better life. You're going to be the new and improved you. You're going to be the you with all the skills and all the knowledge and all the awareness and all the other cool things that comes along with any type of recovery from anything. And you will still have that essence of what you're doing. You're still going to go out with the family or you're still going to go to work or hang out with friends and you're still going to have fun and you're still going to do all those types of things. But in addition to that, you are going to have all this confidence and you are going to have all this other stuff. My friends, I hope you have liked this video and it's given you a little bit of insight and perhaps a little bit of motivation as well to see your future in a different way and to see your present in a different way as well. And if you do want to reach out to me to chat about your recovery, then all my information is in the description of the video and I'd be happy to have a chat with you. And until next time, you all have an amazing day and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.